Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today for my celebrity look, I am going to be recreating an Eva Longoria makeup look. Many of you have been asking and tagging me to create a look of hers, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to start off by using the Brilliant and Spellbinding palette by Sigma. And I'm going to apply Spellbinding, which is a yellowish, goldish tone on the eyebrow bone. Then I'm going to go in with a transition color. This is a very matte brown in the color Balmy. Then I'm going to go in with the color Bloom and I'm going to be applying this near the crease of my lips since she did have somewhat of a reddish tone on the outer area of the look. Then I'm going to go in with a very shiny glittery color. This is in the color Healthy and I'm just going to be applying this directly on the lid with tapping motion. Now I'm just going to go and touch up. I'm using again Balmy and I'm just kind of swirling it around the corners of my eyes and where I feel like I need a little bit more of the color. Now I'm just going to be using the Spellbinding for the corners of my eyes to highlight. Now I'm moving on to Inglots number 77 and she did have a very small wing but at the same time it was very pointy at the end so that's what I'm creating. And I am making sure that I do emphasize attaching it all the way to the corner of my eyes where the highlight is because it was a very dramatic look there. And now I'm just applying my lashes. These are Soho Lashes by Coco Lashes. And now I'm just going to be priming my face to prepare it for the foundation. The foundation I'm going to be using is Revlon's Color Stay. So this is the foundation that I've been using. I've been really liking the matte application. So I'm just applying a few coats and blending it with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm just going to go and highlight with my MAC Prep and Prime in the Color Bright Forecast. She did have somewhat of a dramatic highlight underneath her eye. And there was a focus on highlighting the center of the nose. So now I'm just going to be blending with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm just going to be setting my highlight with a translucent powder. This is by MAC. This is a pressed powder that I actually use when I don't want a yellow based highlight. And now I'm going to go in with the Balm Voyage Palette Volume 2. And I'm just going to be using the Croesso bronzer that comes with the palette. And I'm just going to be doing my cheeks, my forehead, and my neck. I did kind of go a little bit crazy with the contour on my nose, but then I was able to kind of fix it with the blending. So if you ever have that problem, just go ahead and blend, 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 and it should fix the issue. For the blush, I'm just going to be applying it on the temples of the cheeks, and I'm using this really pretty pink that also comes in the palette, and then I'm just going to be blending everything with a stippling brush. And now I'm going to go back to my eyes, and I'm going to go with the color Healthy, and I'm just going to be smoking out the bottom lash line. Then I'm just going to go ahead and apply a tons and tons of mascara because she did have a lot of mascara on her look. So that's what I'm going to try to achieve here. Now to highlight, I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I'm just going to be applying it on the areas that she had it. So on the tops of the cheeks, near the forehead, and in the center of the nose. So that's where I saw the highlight as you can see on the picture. Now to achieve her very high cheekbones, I'm going to use the Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder and I'm just going to be applying it for a bit and then taking it off. Once our lips dry completely, I'm just going to be applying a bit of Fix It Spray by Sasha Cosmetics and then I'm going to go back and apply a little bit of eyeliner since I know she had a bit of eyeliner. 
and we are basically done with the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you guys haven't, and thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye guys.